Game console repairs. In this video, I'll be showing how to replace a BenQ or a light on Xbox 360 DVD drive laser module. Uh, the reasons you may have to replace your laser are if you get um, if your discs do not read at all, or if your game freezes during gameplay, or you get open tray error messages. Uh, then it's a sign of that you have a weak laser. Uh, in order to fix that you need to replace with a brand new Lyron or a BenQ lens for your drive. Um, here are the tools required in order to open up your Expo 360 drive and replace with a brand new lens. Obviously you need a BenQ or a Lyron lens for your specific drive. The re uh, we are using a Lyron 74850C firmware drive. Uh, you'll be needing a Philips number one screw bit or a screwdriver and a slightly bigger I think it's Philips 02 screw bit or a screwdriver uh, you need a micro turn precision uh, screwdriver as well uh, in addition you'll also be needing uh, some of the cleaning equipment in order to clean the drive internals the rail assembly the rail and the motor assembly as well as some of the internals of the drive uh, get a prep isopropylene alcohol and some cotton cleaning balls and some q-tips or cotton cleaning tips uh, these are the items required all these tools can be purchased from our online store as well uh, in addition you'll also be needing a soldering iron the reasons you need soldering iron are is because on the lens you have an anti-static point that you have to desolder uh, in order to place it in your DVD drive. The point is here. All you need to do is just use your hot soldering iron and desolder it. And then you can place your lens in your drive. Alright, let's get it going. Okay, step one, get your soldering iron and remove the anti-static laser point from your laser module. All you need to do is, that's your uh, anti-static point, so all we're going to do is just we're going to desolder it. So simply remove this. That's it. It's all done. You can see that the solder blob is removed. These are the tools required in order to open up your Xbox 360 FAT model. Torx T8 screwdriver or screw bit, Torx T10 screw bit or screwdriver, small Phillips flathead screwdriver or microturn precision screwdriver. And we'll be using Xbox 360 FAT opening toolkit. This helps in opening up the clips on the rear side of the console. Let's open up your Xbox 360. Uh, step one, remove the hard drive. So there's a button here, simply push it down and you can lift the hard drive off. Next, uh, we'll be removing the faceplate. Uh, all you gotta do is just uh, put your fingers in there and pull it outwards, and this comes off. Next, uh, we'll be removing uh, the screw here, so grab your micro turn uh, precision screwdriver. All we gotta do here is simply um, there are clips that we just need to unclip it. So, there's a bit of a guesswork, so and the last one is here. Okay, so this comes off. Next, um, you can simply pull it up from this side, and again, there are uh, four other clips that's holding the grill. So simply okay, so that's off. The other side. Okay, 
like this, so this comes off. Next, uh, we'll be removing the bottom half. Okay, so grab your Xbox 360 unlock tool set and place it in here. And simply push it, push it, and there you go. So this side is off. Grab the other uh, unlock tool set and uh, follow the same on the other side as well. So simply push it and this is separated. So this comes off. Next, uh, grab your micro turn machine screwdriver and simply uh, there are these one, two, three, four clips here. So simply just lift them up. And the last one is here. Okay, now we are able to separate the bottom cover. So this comes off. Next, uh, remove the eject button. So all you gotta do is just oh, this comes off. Um, next, in order to separate the top half, we have to take out the four Torx T10 screws. So there are six long, sorry, six long Torx uh, T10 screws. So simply take them off. Um, now we are able to simply uh, lift off our top cover. So all you gotta do is lift it up. So this comes off. Next, uh, let's remove the DVD drive. So grab your Microtran Precision screwdriver. All you gotta do is just take the solder cable off, take that off, and if there's any sticker um, here, simply take that off as well and check out the DVD drive uh, remove the power cable and our DVD drive is separated ok now that your laser module is ready put it aside uh, let's open up your Xbox 360 DVD drive. Okay, we're gonna remove the four Phillips screws and simply lift the top bit. Lift the top bit, your top bit comes out. You can see there it's a bit dirty, so we have to clean that up as well. Next, we can remove the bottom bit as well, so simply lift it up. Uh, a little bit of dirt and filth here, so we're going to have to clean that up as well. Uh, you can see the drive, there's a bit of a dust, we have to clean all that up. Mm. That's your laser module that we got to replace. Okay, step one. There's a small rail assembly here that you just kind of have to move it in order to open up the tray and get to the laser module. So all you gotta do is just flick it around and the tray comes out and you can open your drive tray. Next we're gonna be removing one two, three, there are three Phillips screws here. The fourth one you don't, don't really have to remove. Uh, you can get away and take out the laser module easily by just replacing, uh, by just opening up these three screws. Other thing, we have to open up this screw as well. We gotta have to clean the rail assembly. Uh, this metal clip we have to clean up as well. Uh, and there's a bit of a uh, oil that we have got to clean up on this metal clip as well. All right. So use your Phillips screwdriver 
Uh, step one, first open up this metal clip. Uh, this comes off. Next, use your Phillips screwdriver and open up this screw. Next is to remove the ribbon cable. There's a clip here, all you need to do is just unclip it and take it out. Do not forcefully remove it, you'll, you'll easily break the clip. It's a very uh, gentle, fragile clip. Close that one. Okay, move this to this side, move the laser. And all you need to do is just push it kind of that way. And you can take out your laser module with the metal clip. Let's clean this bit first and then we'll clean the drive internals. Alright, simply remove your old block and laser, clean it, clean the metal clip. You don't really need to clean it, it's broken anyway. Get your new laser, put the metal clip in there. Yep, so that's all ready. That's ready to be put back in the drive. Now let's clean your drive. I have sprayed a little bit of uh, alcohol on it just to clean up the drive internals. Alright, now we're going to clean up the rail. You can see there there's a lot of dirt there, so just gonna move it, twist it and then clean up. Okay, next step, let's put back the laser module in. So get this ready. Alright, let's put this one in, so this part goes in first, then you can, okay, then move this bit and simply slide it in. That's it, so your laser is pretty much adjusted. Uh, you'll notice that the laser won't go further than this because the PCB is in its way. Uh, in order that when you uh, close your DVD drive tray uh, this will uh, adjust it itself fully so that's reason that's fine that's normal next step is simply put in back your ribbon cable so your ribbon cables in Next, we're going to put those three screws with the metal clips back in its place. Okay, that's ready. Last thing, we need to put back this uh, plastic clip. Uh, it still has a bit of dirt and filth on it, so let's give it a good clean. So. Dip your brush in an alcohol and clean it as well.
Okay, as you can see, that's fairly clean. Simply put it back in its place. It just clips in. Last screw. Put it back in its place. Uh, that's it. We have replaced uh, with a brand new lens. Simply close your tray and let's test it out and see if it all works. Okay, now that we have our drive fully cleaned with the new laser module, let's clean up the top bit and the bottom bit a bit. Alright, it's fairly reasonably clean. Let's bring your bottom bit. Bottom bit is almost fine. Just do a quick clean. Okay, almost done. Next, let's put the top bit back in its place. And then put the bottom bit back in its place as well. Simply screw these four Phillips screws back in its place. Okay, your Xbox 360 light on 7480 7485C firmware drive uh, laser module has been replaced. So let's put it back in the Xbox 360 and test it out. Okay, now that we have successfully replaced light on 74850C firmware laser module, let's test it out. I'm going to turn the Xbox 360 on. And let's insert a disk. See if it reads successfully. Okay, the game is reading fine. Let's click on it. Well, good. This concludes our test, thank you. Next, let's place our drive back into the Xbox 360. So connect the power cable and then connect the solder cable. Next, place your top Next, uh, we'll be placing the eject button. So simply do a quick test, see if it's functioning. Next, we'll be placing the six Torx screws. Next, let's place the bottom cover.
Next, let's place our um, fan grills here. So simply align it Place the other one as well Next connect your hard drive Next, place your faceplate. That's it, all done. Thanks for watching the videos. Please go to gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need. Thank you.